Kellington Group Berhad, provider of ultra-high purity or UHP gas and chemical delivery system, anticipates larger growth opportunity for its business after its listing exercise expected to take place late November. Its Chief Executive Director, Raymond Gunn, told The Edge that the East Market-bound company is pursuing the listing now as many jobs that it has bid for requires a company to present its track record and market capitalization. He said that Callington has the needed track record with its client list include companies such as Pumos, Texas Instruments, Handstar Display, Suntech and Motec. However, Gunn said Callington has failed at providing a market capitalization as it is not listed, denying the company many job opportunities. We are at the uh, stage of, uh, of uh, uh, further growth. All right? uh, uh, we have been growing. We have been uh, growing as a as a as a certain part in that sense uh, 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 by using our own money and then of course our own capital to do that. And uh, we reached to a stage that uh, uh, we want to be the next quantum leap, right? The next the next stage, all right. And uh, and uh, more and more actually customers knows about us, the customers. But the one that is stumbling block is uh, are we are we in position to bid for a bigger job? Right, the customer when, when they they come and evaluate us, right? Are we in position then? So when, whenever they see our company's uh, 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 profile and all these things, we lack at that small competitive edge, which why IPO is so important to us. The listing would give Callington international recognition as well as the required market cap to qualify for jobs. The group's president and chief operating officer Stephen Ong added another reason to pursue the listing is because its other competitors are listed. The company would be the 10th company to exercise the initial public offer or IPO this year and also the first company slated to list on the ACE market since its name changed from Mesdag last August. The company's IPO exercise sees Kenanga Investment Bank as its advisor, underwriter and placement agent. The company is expecting to launch its prospectus by late October after receiving the nod from Securities Commission in September. Ong hinted that the proceeds gathered from the IPO exercise would be used mainly for purchasing equipment and machines, working capital, as well as R&D. Our industry, we are involved in a very uh, fast-moving, continue to be, continue evolving industry because uh, the purity level is getting more and more stringent. So we have, we need to catch up with the technology uh, development. So we, we we are having an R&D team. We are constantly uh, uh, doing some R&D work to make sure that we can catch up with the, the industrial trend. So we will spend the money on R&D and the balance, of course, we will put it into the working capitals. The company is also looking at providing UHP gas to emerging industry like LED and pharmaceutical as it is important for future growth. Callington operates a very niche business area with limited players, whereby Callington designs and built the facility system of UHP gas for highly specialized industries such as wafer fabrication, TFT LCD and solar cells. Callington designs the gas cabinet and piping system to supply the UHP to clean room in factories where high-end semiconductors and other related devices are manufactured. The UHP gas are needed as this sensitive electronics must be handled in dust-free environment, as any contamination of a single particle will cause defect, resulting in chips destruction. On company performance, Callington recorded a net profit of 6.6 .6 million ringgit on the back of a 60 million ringgit revenue for its financial year ended December 31, 2008. Ong said the company has consistently seen 30% growth annually even with the crisis taking place. We are serving not only one industry, we are serving two, three to four main industries. And this industry, as you can see, people's general perception is semiconductor goes down a lot. And you say, oh, KE is in semiconductor, why KE can, can still continue to grow? Actually, that's not true. Because semiconductor not going down everything together. Within semiconductor or electronic industry, in a more uh, broader terms, uh, wafer fat actually came down. TFT LCD came down. But solar went up because of oil price. Remember, the oil price went up very high. That makes the solar, solar, solar energy become more and more feasible. That's why over the last two years, people built a lot of solar plants. And KE being in serving free diversified industry, we, we, we have the opportunity to actually ride on the solar growth, even though even though during the LCD and we could have coming down. Because seven another is, is a cyclical industry, but the cycle is not all the time same one. 
like solar may have a different cycle, uh, LCD may have a different cycle. So these these two different uh, cycle, frequency of, of cycles are uh, they actually set off each other, you know? and therefore we can give K Clinton a consistent growth. Gan added that the company currently operates in four markets, which are Malaysia, Singapore, China, and Taiwan, and that different markets is experiencing different growth rates since the crisis. Ong added the company looks to Asia for future growth and aims to strengthen its presence here as many chips manufacturing companies are located in Asia.